Stop! Yo! Something tells me to kill him dead up in this piece. Angry frustrations I shall release, cause I'm about to let loose the beast. Ha! Hear ye, hear ye, all you asshole MCs. It's time to throw a party for it's the doomsday if you need a captain ass crack. If you want protection, play the rear. No man in this world I fear. My sound beats down for your protection. I advise you wear head gear. I spilled the beans on Bruce Wayne, known as Batman. Take no crusader, just your average white man. Who me? I'm black man. No superhero than letter man. I come up with like these to be the shit removing the S to the back and somehow I still make hits don't you look around I need you stinking like the space between an asshole and clitoris on the 50 armless woman that ain't that some shit you bite too many styles that's not hard to believe you're Captain Zali Baba and you when I'm the 40 thieves prior I can train to reach my levels like peas when storm creates obese monsters mechanisms like this I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get wrecked from a lack of respect because there is no competition I've been around because there is no competition I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get back From a lack of respect Because there is no competition There is no competition Competition is none Got blasted shot and sparks it off like the sun Ha! You don't understand I be b b, -b black man Changing like a chameleon And worth every bit of six million MC rotisserie They call me the colonel From spirit the six spice That brings about death down falls and funerals I do you stunt MCs like an evil With my evil ask my lord He broke the mold and maybe the unbeatable, I am the shepherd when rhyming, bringing silence to the lambs. Clarice, ah, with father beans and a nice chanty, crumbling kingdoms that have the rulers resort to ruling shanties. Bringing through cinnamon the twos, I'm Noah. In the ring, I do him Apollo Creed. Ivan, drag off the Balboa, constricting lines around neck, stopping breath, foot on neck. He can't breathe, he can't bring on tombstones and soft soil. Be all you can be, it ain't much. Ask any GI, I'm the builder, gets them caught up in the clutch. There's no survivors when they fuck around with the new diver. Oh my god, Rizzo Rizankin is the eye. I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get back from a lack of respect because there is no competition. I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get back from a lack of respect because of no competition. I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get back from a lack of respect because there is no competition. There is no competition. Competition is none. God bless the shot who's fought to all black. I clash like the titan to come harder than the kraken. Stole by the head of Medusa. Beat this That's maneuver. maneuver. Styles of brains of challenges like the industrial hoover. I get them open like butt cheeks on a porno freak. Have them screaming something terrible like sorority creeps. I be the greatest killer of all time. And he's must I get him out to leave him kale on couch longer than Rip Van Winkle. With a flash, you his tongue that clashes. Clay like cashes. Hinkle. I land on them seas like abandoned islands. Sending out SOS. Some old shit you ain't heard before. Leave the fifth mark, you're soft as fur, man. I hit homers and run like OJ, spilling a Bronco on the highway. Boy, you lying, MC Shore or Danny, so I cross pollinate to make you daffy lying pussy. Willowing in a field of crab grass ass rappers, tell them to run. Oh my god. Here comes Kim Law. Go tell your mama. Could have saved more if they knew they were slaves, but they're true to their ways. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves or truly engaged, but they're true to their ways. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves or truly engaged, but they're true to their ways. Sin popped the chariot and begat a damnation. Involuntary emancipation. Man, I'm just pacing. Amidst the man I'm facing. My standing station. Mm, Make it stand an ovation. Yes. yes. We didn't ask for this shit. Let me spin. In a way, the movement lost its way when it lost Che with the aid of U.S. Green Beret. Ten, nine, six, seven, the execution day. I exhume Che from the throat. I spit notes of guerrilla warfare. Feel no remorse here. Feel the source here. Even the score here. Forty acres in a tool, and we're pushing for more shares. When Bush brings a leak, I'm checking for four stairs. Involuntary emancipation. The market free for white corp to do whatever it wants. You're free to spark weed mixed with Arab corner store blunts.
tall tales from Katrina news exaggerate scenes. Mm-hmm. Fell to speak of cops looting and bagging New Orleans. The power elite will shower the streets. Devour and creep until I defeat. Lot of mercy. Repeat. The power elite will shower the streets. Devour and creep until I defeat. Lot of mercy. Yes, we detest, but less we test, collect the best, and we address this effing mess. We will arrest this contest, and we invest progress. Must sweat, but let no regrets to attest. Involuntary emancipation. See, we could have saved more, but they didn't know they were slaves. I don't even think they cared that they were slaves. We could have saved more if they knew they were slaves, were truly engaged. But see, they're true to their ways. Involuntary emancipation. I must confess sadly, whether it's the next tragedy or maybe next year, or perhaps just the next tier. I said I must confess. But the most important goddesses were black, not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, The woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her is Circe, who is represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is... Conversation, good vibe, good music. Come see me at 3512 Cleveland. were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius in all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, choices, and deeds must express my geniusness. I am a genius. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Only then will I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. I am a genius at all times. My geniusness must reflect my culture. My geniusness must serve my God. My geniusness must make me be one in love and harmony with my family. My geniusness must protect my people. 
Yes, at all times, I must demonstrate excellence because I am a The African Heritage Diet consists of six lessons. Lessons where we reach back to our African heritage to find culturally appropriate health and wellness practices that help us to move forward as a people that are whole in mind, body, and spirit. Lesson one is herbs and spices. Lesson two are greens. Greens is the widest part in the base of the African Heritage Diet food pyramid. So many uh, greens should be consumed. And as you move up the pyramid, those are the things that you consume in lesser uh, proportionate amounts. Whole grains, lesson three. Beans and rice, lesson four. Tubers and mashes, lesson five. Lesson six, fruits, vegetables, and a healthy lifestyle. To have melanin embedded in our skin is a gift. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I say too black, you say too strong. Too black? Too strong? Yeah. We were born to be great. Oh my gosh, when I say too black, you say too strong. Too black. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a try. Pray. I want to get started. I'm so excited. Sitting up here, kid magic. Kid magic rock. Mm. Shots Mr. out. Diddy. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on. 
Drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Now, grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water, fam. Just, Just move, move your, your body. body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, move, move, move then your body, drink. Move, your, move body. your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Oh, raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors, drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it, come on. Come on, drink it, come on. Drink it, drink it, drink it, come on. Drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath, take your breath. Lift and pour. Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Family, 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 family. Great day to you. Let's make sure we got everything up and running. Uh, we are up on Spreaker, yay! Yep, we are streaming out live, yay! Um, make sure everything is straight on Restream IO. We streaming out, yeah. Are we streaming out to all destinations? Let's see. It appears that we are streaming out to all of our destinations. Oh, what a glorious and beautiful day. You know, um, um, family, I want to say great, great day to you. Um, I want to thank everybody, you know, for tuning in. Whether you tune in live or whether you turn tune in later. I know y'all like, but I tip the commercials is getting on. But, you know, I'm just trying to let people know what we could do here at Jeremy Journey as far as helping you with your media platform as well. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, family, last night, you know, I came to a realization 
it's business. We I'm sitting up here like, good God Almighty. Look, I, I'm trying to budget my stuff now, and I'm sitting up here like, because cool, we're in the midst of moving. Shouts out to Brother Kwame. Great morning to you as well. Good sir. Thank you for joining us. Um, shouts out to all the daily toasters that's out there. So let's just let's let's get right into um um pouring these libations. Um or like as we say, we're doing this toast, lifting up this glass for these ancestors and you know, celebrating them on a on, on a daily basis as we do here at Giami Journey Media. Um once again, just letting y'all know things are gonna start changing, you know, over the next couple of weeks. We're not gonna have the big baby chair anymore. We're going to move to a different chair. We're going to move to a different location. Um, uh, we, you know, we got to break out. And, and, and let me say this. Because, like I said, I was coming down on apartment complex, right? And um, I got a call the other day um, from the apartment complex. And um, so um, the manager called. And I was I asked the phone. And um, it was a sister. I said, what? You call her from where? Yeah. And, and, you know, so she like, you know, I'm noticing that you've been paying higher rent. um, If y'all want to stay, you could stay. Uh, You know, we bring the rent back down. I just wish you would have talked to me. I said, when did you come in? She said, well, I didn't start till March. So. You know, and I started talking to her, and, I, and, you know, I said, listen, um, you know, like I said, if, you know, it was a possibility that if we would have, you know, got some type of leeway or something, it's a possibility that we might have stayed, but we already um, are committed, and, um, but, um, so she said, listen, next time you have any issues in any place, you should always ask for the manager, and I was assuming that I... I spoke to the manager. You know what I'm saying? It never it never occurred to me. But she was right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and I was like, yo, you know, she said, I, I I said, Well, baby, you got here just a little bit too late, but let me tell you something. Um, during this time right now, uh, it will be real good for you to call a lot of your other rest. She said, Listen, you're the third person that I done call in a row that told me the same thing about the rent going up um during this time. Um, and I, I'm going to call all of my residents and, and, and personally introduce myself, you know, and cause one of the things that, that starts to happen and, and, and I hate to say it, but when companies start doing bad, they put us in charge. Now, one or two things could happen. Either the, the business fails and they could blame you or you bring it back to life and then they replace you let me say that again maybe y'all ain't hear me when stuff start going bad that's when they start bringing in this is when uh the the you know we need we we need uh what is it what they call that versatility uh uh I can't remember what they call that. Um, in the workplace, um, variety not it's not variety, but it's is is a fancy word that they diversity. We need diversity, and they bring you in into a struggling situation. And if the situation fails, they see this is why we don't hire y'all. Or and if it if it succeeds, they replace you. I done seen it. In about five different organizations, you know, in my lifetime, just watch it. Watch success come, and as success come, they start replacing those that made it successful. And unfortunately, it'd be us because we come into situations like, yo, this opportunity, I'm gonna boom, 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 boom. We, 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 we there late to late at night. We fix it up. We get it together. Get everything. Thank you, Brother Kwame. Brother Kwame saw me struggling with it. It's diversity. And then they bring you in, you fix it, or it sinks. You fix it, they bring somebody else in, and slowly but surely makes it, make it so uncomfortable that you have to leave. 
They don't, they don't, they don't touch your pay, but they put you in a situation where, you know, the shots that you was calling the one time you could no longer call. Um, but you know, I wanted to salute the sister that's here, you know, cause I thought I would come down and meet her. But I mean, it was such a pleasant conversation. I said, listen, I'm okay. I want to come down there. I want to meet you. I just wish you was here just a little bit earlier. Cause maybe you could have helped shape, um, the decision we making. Um, also I want to send shots out to brother Cleve. Yep. Brother Cleve, you know, when he acting up, he got Cleveland, but you know, I got a call from his history teacher and it, and it turns out. That Cleve is a history dude. You know what I'm saying? I, and you know, I'm like, wow. I said, okay. Okay, so now I, I see why you kind of struggling with your math. You know? Cleve like that, like the history. I, it looked like he might be fault because with the history come the stories. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My guy, my guy, a hot Tim 3.0. You know what I'm saying? Hot Tim 3.0. But we don't, who knows? You know, we... uh you know, we prepare the way for our young people and, and, you know, hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? You know, but what we need to do is put ourselves in position to know that the best is coming. And that's what we're trying to do at Giami Journey. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, man, you get you get a you get all these opportunities to fail. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But we're going to, you know, long as your heart is in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We're going to help you find where it is. That you are successful. And that's the goal. That's the goal here. Bring out the best in you. Right? That's why we toast these ancestors. Because we standing on the shoulders of giants. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I, 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 I don't. I just want to make sure that people understand. And feel the fact. That you know. You know. Because we kind of discount some of our ancestors. Um, because they, they're not the big name variety. Right, the big names. We 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 don't we want to jump right past some of our personal ancestors because they're not the big names. But for you, they were the world, and you need to go on and make sure the people know that. Brother Kwame said we have to introduce math to him from his. There you go. You know what I'm saying? See, and that's why that's why I got, that's why uh, the ancestors brought uh, people like you around me. I mean, because. And, of course, you have the skills to do that. I don't necessarily have the skills to do that. I have the skills to, you know, you know, boom, check out this story, check out this story. I'm trying to get him to read uh, Tony Browder's from the Browder file. But it's almost like pulling teeth. You know what I'm saying? But he's reading, he's reading, but he's doing a lot of reading of anime. And, um, and, 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 and family, we have to understand, you know what I'm saying, you might not understand the anime, right? But you don't have to discount it. If your child is reading that, you know what I'm saying? That means that the vocabulary is going up. This this means that he's able to follow a story. You know what I'm saying? And and to make it a little bit more interesting for them, them as well as you, you know what I'm saying? Grab one of those books. <clears throat> quiz them on it. T- have them tell you the story. You know, um, every now and then I you know try to get try to have an anime conversation with with Cleve, but he off into some other stuff you know i'm i'm dragon ball dragon ball z type thing you know um every now and i like death note too that was a real real good one um um what else is it it's a character called leolis in there um fairy tales that was real good um kenichi the greatest disciple you know, but those are kind of old right now. But, you know, but the young people got a lot of stuff coming out that you could go on and follow. And, I mean, like, even with watching, see, because, like, with TV, um, uh, let me see. We have to draw the correlation between discipline and that particular interest. That's right. The hook. Finding the hook. Right? Finding the hook. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, cause it's only a, one step away. From understanding a story structure, how a story work, you know what I'm saying, to writing a story, you know what I'm saying. You read a story, and this is only a, it's a simple step once you understand the basic framework for writing the story. You know what I'm saying. You understand that basic framework, and it don't have to be exact, but once they once they find out that formula, 
you could be you might be surprised at what they might be able to create or where they will go with it um but anyway <clears throat> let's get to this libations let's see we're going let's go and see this tea i got this tea for a minute over here that was so underwhelming got a little bit of ambrosia mixed in with the tea so what i did was i fermented this tea first and then after the batch of ambrosia was done, I poured a little ambrosia in it. Y'all remember this bottle. I slowed down on it a little bit. <sighs> All right. So, uh, family, those of you that might be uh, interested in the amb that ambrosia, I won't be producing it possibly until late August, early September. Um, I'm going to have to get settled and figure out a system. You know, by which I could bring it to you. But with that, let's go on and let's do. Yeah, we're getting a little bit smoother with it over here, Giami Journey. Um, and like I said, so Kwame, when you get your show together, you know, I'm going to put you together some commercials. I'm putting the Vita together some commercials. I got to I gotta do something for, uh, I, w I need to find out when CeeLo want to do hers. And I think I'm going to do the uh, the Cleveland Brown um, uh, uh, Raymond Noodle Challenge. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> listen, that boy get, that man, listen, that boy could make some damn Raymond Noodles, man. Dry noodles or the, the 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 um the refrigerated noodle man i'm like dude i mean you live in a college lifestyle and don't even know it <laughs> you know what i'm saying take it around he take man listen y'all seen some of the pictures that i posted up for for them ramen noodles this boy live in a college lifestyle and don't even know it. I'm like, man, dog, listen. We just used to just do the packets. I never thought about putting the vegetables. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He take some vegetables and I'd be like, yo, I just, you know, Africanize it for me just a little bit. Throw that palm oil in there. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh, my God, this look good. And he got the little presentation to it and everything. Like, nice little big bowl. I said, Cleaver, man, you uh." You gifted, you know what I'm saying, um, and it and it's just a matter of, because um, in African openings to the tree of life, it's called the lure. Um, Kwame called it the hook. In, in the African openings to the tree of life, they talk about giving, um, giving the young people a lure to mastery. A lure, you know what I'm saying, and it's like we throw them in these in these institutions and and expect for them to stumble on a lure no we have to go on to help them find a lure because what starts to happen is because i um i was riding with my grandson yesterday and um you know he's he's approaching a point in his life where he has to make major decisions because he graduated yesterday so he has major decisions to make and um you know the, the uncertainty and I and I remember being there that the uncertainty of what's next the uncertainty of of uh, of where you going with your life and, and 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 you know um living up to other people's expectations um can be scary you know what I'm saying living up to your own expectations living up to what all the stuff that you're seeing um, I'm 18 I'm 19 years old and I don't got a binge yet you know, I mean, just, just, you know, so we, we have to be aware of this stuff and we got to kind of let them know it's okay. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to do for a very long time, you know, um, follow what, what is it that you love? You know, and that's what I started talking with him about. You know what I'm saying? What should I do? I mean, what is it that you love? Because, you know, right now we're going to have to find a way for you to, um, support yourself. And especially, I mean, just imagine graduating during these times, right? I mean, just imagine that. Those of you that's older, imagine graduating during a time when the economy is, in a sense, bottom, um, bottoming out and the whole economy is shut down. Imagine it, right? You're stuck in a house. 
You ain't got nothing to do. When you did have a job, your job shut down. So now, you know, what are, what are you to do? You know, so we got to go and encourage our young people to find things that they love so that even when they're at home, even when they're locked in their home, they could do, they could use their hands, they could use their mind, they could create, they could do the thing that they love to do regardless of what's going on around them. They don't need the shop. They don't need the office. They can get up here and do what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe instruct people online. I mean, because that's, that is a growing field, you know, and that's where we are right now um, as far as Yami. So let's go and do this toast. First off, giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator. We lift up our glass. We salute the creator. And we say, Ashe, it smells kind of good. Look at the bubbles at the bottom. Next, family, what do we do? Hmm. You know, doing this right now just made me think about another drink because you know at the end of the i did the uh at the end of the last bottle process i put honey in at the bottom you know i put honey in at the end of the process and let it sit a little bit longer now i couldn't do it this time because i bought a I, you know i had i had so many orders that i had to i had to buy um i couldn't get the individual containers right it was cheaper just to buy a, bu- a, a, um, a half a bucket. That's 30 pounds. So, I, you know, I couldn't distribute it like I, I usually would. So I had to just pour it in and make it all sweet. And, and, but maybe I might do a fermented tea ambrosia mix. But we'll see. We'll see as time goes on. So we move from the creator. We're going to move to our ancestors. We lift up our glass and we salute our ancestors. And here we go. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Tex, Anna Davis, Hunter Brown, Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, Winnie Walter, Christian Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fallar, Montague Pippen L, No More X, Pet Ma Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Miller Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Elder Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Agnes Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulling, and Luxor Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Reed Nelson, Miss Fred, um, Ms. Frederick Crawley Sr., Ms. Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Ms. Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Kenny Justice, Derek Rinderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kennedy Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Herman Copeland, Herman Copeland, Mildred, Mitchell Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie E. Quails, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Danny Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Halle Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Amitab Wah- Elder Amitab Wellman. I skipped the whole part of the list. Elder, um, I blanked out once again, and I skipped the whole part of the list. So we stopped the Elder Amitab Wellman at the bottom, but in the middle, somewhere along the lines. So I'm going to go with Mary Walker, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Chris Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rinderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Del Hodge, Melvin Del Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bert Beatty, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, Ago Sosu, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theodore Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., 
Leonard Dixon, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Rob Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keach Reese, Linda, um, Linda Watson, Linda Watson Hammonds, Drill Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin, Lewis, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore, Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hader Pearson, Sergeant Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankston, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quayle, Jeremy Thornton, Brandy Squales, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, um, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, Derrida Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W.S. Senior, James Barham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Betsy Johnson, Adley Vester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Adam Amitette Wellman, Fred Douglas Trick Senior, Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey Ellen Ohio, Frank Rosen Davis, Fred Douglas Trick Senior, um, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Peter Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, Owen Lockhart, with Joe Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Soya, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russell, D. Lamont Aries, Gina Ruth Jones, Jana Callahan. We have William Walter West, Nigel Parrish, L. W. C. G. Filani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winner Free Scannerberry, Held Wilson Headley, Elma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Will Belongmire, Either Candy, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Michael Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billisley Jr., Jennifer Sensiball, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko, Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy. We got Reverend Roosevelt Word the First, Stacey Trash, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Bruce Jefferson, Dan Wilkerson, Susan, Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie Morgan Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, I'm Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwilin and Bob Hatch, Kim Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie here to tell me Kate, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Eno Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleeter, Mother Gibson, Ags Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Copa, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, May Francis, Chappell Jackson, Michael Slade, Joan Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heap Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Joe Dean Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Ellerton Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, and West Staten. Joe Jamel Alls, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beer, Tim Butler, Remy Lower Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Bobby Naeem, Jenna Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Don Irvin, Harun Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robbie Lee Carwell, Navea Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javan McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Chakamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward Benson, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Albert, Masvin Copeland, George Swan, Imania Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Everidge McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, and Shelby McClendon. We move to the Black Book. And in the Black Book, in the Black Book, we have Joella Giles, James Carswell, LeBert. Um, the brother Adams, lovingly known as Aunt Sis. We have Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, 
Jonathan Ford, Lottie Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Top, Christina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundo, Von Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross Riggins, Jermonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Crazy Sample, Candace Simmons, Sermon Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sonny Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lump, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacy Trice, Denise Goray, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khalid is in transition. Nigel Turner, Demetrius Lewis Flynn, Alberta Woods, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gantz, Sharifa, Oscar Kane, Audrey Gripper, Dominic Nichols, Ruthie Lane Johnson, <gasps> Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Human Manga III, Tamara Dowdy, Nicole Hayes, Julia Taylor, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carter, John Carter, Mr. Thornton, Johanna, Desandra Lynette Lewis, Anderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Human Essex II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Al Alti Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph Giles, Sonny Sonny, Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers. We have Elijah Juan Hakeem and Coma, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Cream Mac Mackey, Victor Bowden, Trusilla Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White Talton, Roger White, R. L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods, T. Laura Woods Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Annie Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Nettie Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins, Edward Webster, Alice Webster, Ivy Webster, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samanda DeMond, Ethel Marshall, Steve Dougie Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Grace, Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr., Drusilla Merle, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Merle, Sylvester Foster, James and Lizzie Winston, Abe and Julia Lawrence, Ozell Leathers Sr., Gladys Cofer, Ozell Leathers Jr., Geneva Jackson, R.J. Lacey, also known as Tooth the Darn, Saber Winston, Chris Kinney, Margaret Minter, Mary Smith, Juanita, Juanette, Florine Stith Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Jana Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice Hill, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle, Havana Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter, Craig Lee Jones, Granny Bueller, Papa Al Reasoning, Inez Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Garrett, LaShonda Jamar, Leroy Raleigh, Mona, Yolanda Hunter, Yvonne Patrice Turner, Herman Reeves, Amanda Reeves, Josh Reeves, um, Lena Kate, Herman Reeves, Pam Johnson, Vera and Reese Fisher, Jerry Jossa McCallop, also known as Mama Moon, Sheila Ann Lee, Panchita Alba. Family, once again, we have done it. We lift up our glass. We salute all of our ancestors. And once again, thank you for trusting me. Um, um, I guess as the ancestor keeper, I don't know. You know, however it is, we lift up our glass and we salute and we say, Ashe. From their family, we move on. And what do we move to? Of course, you know where we move. We will move into the present moment. We move into our time. We move into the time our ans uh, the time our ancestors gifted us. And today, family, we are on Nia, and we want to give all of the Nia babies a round of applause. <laughs> So, we are on Nia, right? Um, and, oh man, you know, um, um, I'm asking, as I usually do, family, activate those reticular formations. We want to go out and we want to seek Nia because it is out there in the community. We know it's out there. It's just a matter of the fact, matter of fact, that we have to go out and we have to document it. The world will not expose your principles to you. It will only expose the principles that go to support that world. So in order for us to start building up the world we want, we have to start looking for the building blocks of that world on a daily basis, which is why I ask you to activate your reticular formation. Or as the proverb says, said last night, when a man says yes, the spirit says yes. I'm asking you to say yes to your principles. I'm asking you to say yes to seeking out your principles and sharing them. You know what I'm saying? Sharing them on your timeline, sharing them on Giami Journey. Because I keep going back to make sure that people can post up on Giami Journey on, on our 
on on our page, on our main page, the uh not not the group, but the page. You could post up on the page pictures of Nia. You know, hashtag Nia, hashtag Nia file, hashtag Nia in motion, hashtag me and Nia in action, hashtag uh, Nia Nia, hashtag Nia baby, hashtag Nia day. Uh, just long as Nia is in it, we can find it, right? So, um, family, for those that don't speak the language, and if you don't speak the language, then you need to get get up with our e-course. Get up with our e-course. Um, let's, let me go and post it up, just in case it's somebody new. Now, um, one um one of the elders said that they wanted to check out the e course. Um, as a support member, all of all of our content on Giami Journey is free to you. Now, um, some elders who who are doing stuff in cash, some elders who are doing stuff in cash, um, we will find ways to make adjustments. So I got to find a way. I got I got to figure that out. As a matter of fact, I got to figure it out for um, um, the brothers and sisters that are tribal members because, you know, we we have a different. So uh, let me figure that out. Ah, I know what to do. I know what to do. He came to me, Kwame. He was just that quick. I know exactly what to do. Um, Yeah. Cause we could use Gumroad for that, and we could just house all this stuff on Gumroad. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, hmm, hmm. Let me think about that. All right. But anyway, but also on today, we also have the Mighty Principle of Balance. We got the color yellow, as you see by my shirt. Make sure you get you so get yourself from some Giami gear. Um, we got rhythm, which is uh, the Hermetic Law. We got the male name for the day is Kofi, and female name of Fua. And in this moment, we raise up our glass. We salute this moment. We salute the power in this moment. And before we move on, let me give you the proverb of the day. Proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. Alright. This says only the inner head will accompany the devotee on a long journey without turning back. Said the knowledge holders. This is for you, your interpretation. From the African openness to the tree of life, we're using um African Deep Thought workbook. Only the inner head will accompany the devotee on a long journey without turning back, said the knowledge holders. Ooh. Ooh, can I get can I get some lightning anime? Can I get some lightning, please? Lightning and thunder. Oh. Yeah. Alright, and once again that book is being worked on as we speak, and it will be it will be available soon. Of course, all those that are um subscribing um uh, supporters or subscribing members um you know it'll be dropped down into your into your thing when when we get it all right um but those others you know we're gonna push it we're gonna push it all right family so um we lift up our glass we salute this moment and we say i say from there we're gonna move to our children our children's children on to infinity we lift up our glass and we say i say from our children, we move to all of our relations, and we lift up that glass. We toast all of our relations, and we say, I say, from all of our relations, where do we head? Where do we go, right? From all of our relations, we are going to move, you ready? To that selfish toast. This is for you. What is it that you need right now? Take care of yourself. What is it that you need in this moment to move towards your greatness? Because your greatness will solve all your problems. Trust me. Right, you move to your greatness, you'll solve all your problems, and you may be able to solve some of the problems or help some of the people around you solve some of their problems. So, move towards your greatness, put on your mask first as the plane is going down. Right, we lift up our glass and we say, I say, from their family, we move and we salute the tribe. What's your tribe? Throw up your tribe. My tribe is Giame, saluting that tribe. Right, throwing that into the rotation now. Right, lifting up, toast it. Toast them, right? I say, 
from their family. We move on. Last but not least, I want to um, toast the most magnificent, the most marvelous, the most wonderful, the most beautiful, the most uplifting, the most empowering individual in the room. I want to lift up my glass to you. And with that, we say Ashe. 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 Ambrosia, that cool, refreshing drink. Well, this is not, this is not, this is a um, ambrosia with the extra green tea. Mm. Kind of like that. Sort of like a light wine. Mm. Yes, 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 y'all. All All right. So we have done another toast, but I once again, I need to remind y'all that you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I'm your host, Brother Hot Tim. That's me, and of course, this is a um, this is a heart of a simple production, and we are on a daily toast. Well, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. All right, so we gon' we gon' we gon' peruse the Giami Journey timeline. We're going to see what's popping off. Uh, let me do that. So. All right. So we on the timeline. <clears throat> and this is the uh, visitor timeline. But let me let y'all know the numbers. Because y'all been, once again, y'all been showing out. They say we got a reach of 31,000 um, in the last 28 days. We have reached over 31,476 people. I mean, I mean, they might have saw a post or something. We got 5,000 um, post engagements. And they say that's down 30%. Both of those are down 30%. So during the last uh, during the last 28 days, family, y'all been showing out. Thank you. We got a uh, 57 page likes in the last 27 days. We're growing. I want to remind um, those of you that are um, on here. Now, unfortunately, Kwame, you won't be able to qualify, but Giami Journey will be giving away $100, right? Um, the I, I want, I'm, Like I said, I want to get a little bit more settled before I do it. We're going to scrape up this money. And we're going to give away a hundred dollars. The only thing we ask is that you are a follower on our page, a follower, or you like the page, um, and uh, also that uh, you are on our mailing list. Okay, so um, so we're gonna pick from the mailing list, and then we're gonna double check to make sure that you are on liking the page. And we will either PayPal you or um, uh, cash app you a um, hundred dollars, right? Um, and I, mean, I guess, and I have to go back on something. I said yes, and I guess that if an elder wins that don't, you know, what I'm saying that don't have a cash app but don't have PayPal, we'll cut a check. All right, but anyway, but. We'll, we'll, well, I'll let you know about that. I got to go. I want to put a, a short commercial together for that. And I want to make sure that everybody, um, whether they are following us or whether they like our page, that's in that circle can get that. That's going to be directly for people that's all in a sense. And it's going to be because the way the way the commercial is going to go out is going to go out to um, uh, people that like the page and friends of people like the page. So we're going to push that out um, and, you know, see if we get some um, get some get some growth here. All right. Um, going down the timeline. 
Now, the, the, the piece that I'm going to look at is what uh, our brother Nick Cannon said. You know what I'm saying? Like yesterday, I wanted to illustrate the fact that the the lesson that I'm hoping that the family gets from this is that even, I want y'all to think about this. The Jewish culture as it is right now, don't even accept, don't even accept any type of questions about who they are, where they're from. Shut your ass down. Now, I want to see if what he said was super offensive, right? Because the only thing that they're throwing on it is that Nick Cannon said anti-Semitic uh, statements. So I want us to look critically at the statements that this brother made. Um, and, you know, and, 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 and because, like I said, family, some of this stuff that we're setting up, other people are going to benefit from. Um. You know, because that's how it works. All right, so let's go on. 30 year old American television star Nick Cannon was fired from by Viacom. He was fired. See, and, you know, and now this gets to the point because I thought, you know, I thought Nick Cannon was, I ain't going to say, you know, um, but I, I know he well off. But I thought he had a little bit more ownership in his stuff. So he was fired. Then, you know, they stressed that fire by Viacom CBS on Tuesday or for us, Kuji Chaglia, July 14th, 2020. Remarks made by Nick Cannon during his YouTube podcast received a lot of backlash from his audience, thus prom um, prompting Viacom CBS to take such an extreme action. In the backdrop of Black Lives Matter movement, awareness and action around intolerant behavior against the African-American community have increased. Hmm. Did I read that right? In the backdrop of the Black Lives Matter movement, awareness and action, okay, around intolerant behaviors against the African American community have increased. Nick Cannon has recently become one of the many celebrities who have been fired by major television networks due to their controversial comments. Nick Nick Cannon podcast. What did Nick Cannon say? And that's the question that I continue. I'm I wanted to ask. After an audio-only version of Nick Cannon podcast, Cannon Class of June 30th, 2020, was posted, Nick Cannon was denounced for supporting and even indulging in hate speech initiated by his guest, Richard Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Griff can't catch a break. Furthermore, Nick Cannon also said that it was a shame that Louis Farrakhan, who is a minister known for his story of anti-Semitic comments, had been silenced on Facebook. Now, still, I want to know what Nick Cannon said. Further, so um, Nick Cannon was denounced uh, for supporting and even indulging in hate speech initiated by his guest, Richard Griffin. So they said, what did Nick Cannon say? Now, check this out, because I want, I want y'all to see the games that people play. So what did Nick Cannon say? That's the question right here, right? So let's go on and see if they're going to tell us what he said. Nick Cannon said, that it was a shame that Louis Farrakhan, or Farrakhan, who was a minister known for his history of anti-Semitic comments, had been silenced on Facebook. Now, what what's wrong with this statement here? Right? Louis Farrakhan is an American citizen. He should have access to some of the same tools that a lot of other people have. And like I said, I have not seen proof of the anti-Semitic comments that I have been told that Minister Louis Farrakhan said. So just by associating or having a conversation about Louis, Louis Farrakhan, you can be black marked. You could be black marked. Let me take that back. You can be white marked and labeled as an anti Semite. But let's see if they go any further and tell us what to say. Um, um, on the Nick Cannon podcast, Cannon's class, Cannon claimed that he wishes to debate the idea of giving so much power to the Jewish community. Enraged. See, now, let's see. Hold on. On the podcast, because let's see what he did. On the, on the Cannon podcast, Cannon class, Cannon claimed that he wished to debate. He wished to debate. So he wanted to have a discussion. He wanted to have a discussion about 
the idea of giving so much power to the Jewish community. Let's let's highlight that. Let's highlight that. All right, let's see. Now, he wanted to debate, have a discussion, have an argument, a structured argument about um, the power that was given to the Jewish community or that the Jewish community had. And even just with that, he enraged his viewers even further. How dare you question our power? How dare you? Whether it's true or not. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it's true or not. It was a question of debate, but they ain't even going to what he said. Enraging his viewers even further. He enraged them when he challenged their power. People challenge our power all the time. People challenge our validity all the time as a group. And we can't get them fired. We can't get them shut down. Come on, family. Come on, family. They, you know what I'm saying? This, this, for, in, in a sense, this is a model for crushing anybody that talks against us. Anybody that even... See, because now I want to take our movement to a point where we able to, in a sense, put enough pressure on companies for anybody that even questions the idea of reparations. See, that's power. That's power. Nick Cannon had to step down and now he's in in a battle to try to get ownership of a show that has been on for years. But they might they probably won't even give him that. And raging his viewers even further, he claimed that with so much power the Jewish community was turning into Illuminati, the Zionists, the Rothschilds. All right. He claimed that with so much power, the Jewish community was turning into Illuminati, the Zionists, the Rothschilds. Okay. Now, that could have been dispelled in the discussion. Rather than getting the man fired, why not put somebody on that could go and debate and clarify if what he's saying is not true? No, we just get them out. And I could dig it. I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying, you give me, y'all give me, y'all laying out a playbook for me. Y'all laying out a playbook for Giame. Because I'm a, I, I, you know, shit, you can silence motherfuckers like that. I, I want that type of power. Cannon went on to add that African-American people are Semitic people by definition and that Semitic people are not white. Okay. All right. Prove them wrong. Make them look stupid. Prove them wrong. Right? Because if what he's stating is not fact, is not true, then it's a myth that's been flowing through the black community for a long time. Smash it. Smash it with truth. Show that it's a misunderstanding. Show that it's a lie. Right? That's all you have to do. But no. Get rid of him. Fire him. Take his property. See, that's the playbook. You don't even get to question. You don't have the right to question us. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that everybody that has any negative to say about Reparations should be treated in the same fashion. What happened with Nick Cannon? Why was Nick Cannon fired? According to the reports of the media portal, a Viacom CBS spokeswoman said in a statement that the company thoroughly denounces all forms of prejudice words against the Jewish community. Now, I want I want y'all I want y'all to see, you know, they denounce all forms against not everyone, not everyone, not everyone. 
Y'all see that? Now, they look out for a singular community. Not all. Not all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Prejudice words. Denounce all forms of prejudiced words against the Jewish community. Hmm. Okay. On Wednesday, July 15, 2020, Nick Cannon said in a statement on Facebook that he wanted to apologize to all his Jewish brothers and sisters for having put them in such a painful position. He said it wasn't his intention to hurt them. Hmm. The comedian television host said that unfortunately systematic racism is what this world was built upon. So I think something is missing there. The comedian. So we always got to backtrack and start apologizing. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't denounce all forms of systematic racism practice against black folks. It's not especially owning some of the shit that they own. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they need to be canceled. Until, you know what I'm saying? Until they learn a lesson. Comedian television host said that unfortunately systematic racism is what um, this world was built upon. He also claimed that he only wanted to highlight the fact on the Nick Cannon podcast, Kindness Class. Um, he also claimed that he only wanted to highlight this fact on the Nick Cannon podcast, Cannon Class. Nick Cannon also took to Twitter on July 14th to claim that he had no malice in his heart and that he did not wish to spread hate. Since then, the comedian has posted several tweets on the subject and has informed his fans about the steps he's taken to educate himself. Hmm. So he got to take a whole damn mess. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. He got to educate himself. All right. You know, Trump, Trump folk running around here. You know, anyone who knows me, this is Nick Cannon. Anyone who knows me knows that I have no hate in my heart, nor malice. I do not condone hate speech, nor the spread of hateful rhetoric. We are living in a time when it is important that ever, more important than ever to promote unity and understanding. Hmm. Okay. I just had the blessed opportunity to converse with Rabbi Abraham Cooper, Director of Global Social Action. As Simon Weisenthal, my first words to my brother was, I apologize for the hurt I caused the Jewish community. On my podcast, I used the words and I referenced literature I assumed to be factual to uplift my community instead it turned out to be hateful propaganda and stereotypical rhetoric that pained another community. For this, I am deeply sorry, but now together we can write a new chapter of healing. <clears throat> All right, all right, Nick. They they done hemmed his ass up, right? Hemmed him up, and he had to backtrack. He had to go and apologize. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm saying this: my issue is not the fact of what he was right or wrong, right? My my I'm looking at this from a scope as a nation builder of this group of people have the power the power of unity to bring individuals and some institutions to their knees and there's no reason why we can't do the same thing it's certain things that in in a jewish community you cannot even question you can't even have that discussion i'm just saying it's time for us to do the same certain certain things you shouldn't even question what's wrong with that so um let's move on down the line before i get before i get canceled oh my fault i ain't making enough money to get canceled um let's go so we did try quotes last night i'm sorry i fell asleep at the end <laughs> y'all know i'm listen I had uh, it was two conference calls going on, and I one one was set up earlier in a sense in that day, and um, another one you know was um, was Simba Nation you know and you know I 
I am I am uh, a support of because uh, Simba let's put this Simba had a conference cry and I have seen a, a lot of those brothers but I didn't find out about the Simba meeting well, let's. I ain't going to say didn't find out. I didn't pay attention on the date and time until I got home. I got home about close to 8 o'clock because um, I had a meeting and I left the office and I went back to the office and finished up on some stuff. And then I came here and it was almost time for uh, the show. So I had to get up off of there. Um, so it, I think it was okay show. Um, you, I mean, we got some information out. You know what I'm saying? We got some information out. Um, here's the new commercial for Dr. Mariba Kelsey's book. You go to Mariba Kelsey. Well, this is this is the special report. So I put this together um, because one of the things I'm learning is that a lot of the commercials that we do have or that I did create um, and that, you know, and that one uh, that, that some of the young people create has to be um, quick. So y'all seen this, but I'm going to show it again anyway. Let's enlarge it and start over. All right, it's enlarged. Let's start it over. So now also, if you notice, it's in a box. Um, so what I learned is that if you're going to advertise on Facebook and Instagram, it's best to do it in the box because most people look at the phone vertically. All right. Um, and it's only 25 seconds. All right, one more time because I, I'm um because brother Kwame is watching. So uh, Kwame, what's going on is that there is um, a construction site, and you got the bricks moving and stuff, and it says nation building can be confusing unless you have a road map. Here is your starting point. So it got bricks and stuff around, and then um, Baba's book, Eleven Steps Considerations. For empowering African center organizations pop up. Then a red, black, and green paintbrush go by and paint MariebaKelsey.com. Wisdom from an elder to help us win. So, just describing it for my brother. All right, let's go on back. Um, let me see. We got anything else? Oh. Um, BBC, Google launches a digital hieroglyphic translator. You hear that, Kwame? Google launches a digital hieroglyphic translator. Or Google launches a digital metuneta reader. Metuneta. Or met, metuneta. Sure, but first you'll have to unlock your device. See, Google trying to do it for me right now. So let's go read that because we got people that, that have been studying this stuff for years. And I can't I can't wait to be hearing some news from some of these brothers that's been reading this stuff for a long time. Google has launched a hieroglyphic translator used machine learning to decode, decode ancient Egyptian language. Hmm. The feature has been added to its arts and culture app. It also allows users to translate their own words and emojis into shareable hieroglyphs. Hmm. Google says Fabricus is the first such tool to be trained via machine learning to make sense of what a hieroglyphic a hieroglyph is. In theory, it should improve over time as more people use it. Grand claims, deciphering findings. I'm not gonna read all this. Um. But um, broken text, you know, y'all can read that for yourself. Um, you can check out the, you can check out the hieroglyphic reader, you know. Machine's going to take you out. So in a minute, I'm, you know, in a minute, somebody going to be in a meeting and be like, that ain't what they say, Brother Kwame, that ain't what they say. That ain't what they say, Elder Long. That ain't what they, I don't care how long you've been studying. Google said. 
you know. Hey, that's why you gotta be firm in what you know. Um. So, um, I another thing, I gave my girls access to uh, the the um, program. At least when I'm around. For the program to be able to uh, make commercials. And they went off. So um, since I ain't got a show tonight. When I come home tonight. I'm going to let them let them loose. And uh, see what they do. Um, so, um, But be expecting a show from them. Because they got their little. Let me if I got it on here. Here we go. So. For um, brother Kwame, what, what what was it? Was a it's a big giant fireball, and it, it blows up and it goes across the screen, and it says after the smoke clears, it say Giami girls coming soon. So you know. They doing their thing. I can't get mad at them. Um, so we talked about a lot of stuff. So um, we got a lot of stuff to dis, um, do for our um, for our weekend toast and talk. I don't think we got any. Uh, there is no podcast. There's no per onk or divine conversation this weekend. So we'll be able to go on and talk a little bit more in depth. I'm really looking forward. Hold on. I think Brother Kwame said something. Let me double check. Um, uh, uh, Brother Kwame said, I checked out Dentista this morning, signed up, but still need some advice on how to proceed to the wallet aspect of it. Okay. Um, uh, I need to. All right, cool. He's supposed to be putting something together for that, but we, uh, um, I might be able to walk you through. Um, it says, Jews are watching his show. Really? Um, Brother Kwame said the Jewish onslaught by Tony Martin speaks to the threatening livelihood of would-be offenders of the Jewish community. Blueprint to guide the engineering and roadmap to divine where next to build. Yep. Blueprint to, to guide the engineering and a roadmap to divine where next to build. That's right. We've been relying for so some time on what others tell us what it says and google becomes our new master <laughs> uh, hey now but the now the, the 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 issue is for us to know that if google can make it so can we you know now they got they got more money but the pc is some of this technology at the rate of like for example i i, I got this laptop that we're using right now it's already, um, but it's already falling off. I don't mean that. Don't take it personal. It has a Ryzen 5. So the next laptop I'm going to get is going to have a Ryzen 7. And possibly the laptop or the, the desktop that I'm on, that me and Cleve and, and my daughter, so I'm going to let them participate in that too. It's going to build. It's going to have like a Ryzen 7 or a 9. This is going to be able to handle a lot of stuff. And all of this, like, AI stuff, they have access to. But we got to have the people that have the know-how to do it. Which means that once we start finding our young people, right? Once we start finding our young people with those interests, we have to start being able to push them in directions and put a little bit of money behind it. Right? You know, because um, I think I think one of the next things I want to talk to... Um, Giami about is actually um getting a digital printer um you know what i'm saying actually get digital printer um actually get a drone you know what i'm saying with the cameras and get get a couple of people out you know get a get a rough run at first but getting a drone so that we can have some overhead shots so when we start doing our community events not only can we stream um uh directly from where we are but we can send up a drone and be able to have it fly all the way around everything that we're doing you know what i'm saying because we're gonna have the commercials down we're gonna have the newsletter down we're gonna have the um 
the digital book creation down. We're going to have the e-courses down, right? We're going to have the daily getting information out to the people down, right? So now it's just a matter of us funneling the funds in order to go and start building up, in a sense, the ranks. Yes, a 3D digital printer. Yes, sir. I'm thinking about getting one because, like I said, um, the young people could go and learn how to make, you know, I mean, just little not like trinkets. They can learn to build stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shaka got his son. He got one up there, and his son is making chess pieces now and selling them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been thinking about 3D printing for a while. So, So between, because now, and with, and this is what people have to understand, with the desktop computer, what's going to happen is that I want that to be so ahead of the curve for at least a year or two years where it's going to be able to be on and we'll be able to stream through that. Like with reruns and stuff, all our shows. We will be able to have enough room to put all of our stuff on there and be able to run reruns whenever we not live all the time. Just be able to click, boom, goes on. Everything runs automatically. Then when we go on, we cut that off, boom, and move back in. It also can read and, and it is streamed directly to video as well as to the podcast. So we have a presence that's all the time we have a, we have we can have a almost 12 a, a 24 hour presence you know what i'm saying on the internet popping out news popping out old information as well as new information as we start building up um the information so um i'm looking for we're looking for writers for the newsletter we're looking for those people who have ebooks or ideas for ebooks we're looking for people who have ideas for e-courses you know what I'm saying? Because here, Giami, we can help you put all that together and we can put it right into our Ugenomics network. And not only will you be able to produce an income for yourself or for your organization, but you will be able to spread the wealth with other people that can help you promote that thing. So we all come up. We have a, a system of reciprocity. Where we all could build. And like I said, it's just a, it's just a little bit. All it needs is it's, it's like that priming, like, like you know when they say the water, you got to prime the pump. We just we at the point now where we are able just to prime the pump just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, once and and especially once we get up to at least a hundred followers, the stuff we're gonna be able to do just with a hundred followers is gonna be ridiculous, and it's gonna jump to a thousand followers soon after that. Because one of the major pieces that hold us back from um, from doing a lot of stuff is time. What starts to happen when we are able to purchase some of our people time, even on a part time basis? This two hours every day, I want you to dedicate straight to Giami work. Just this two hours. I can only afford these two hours. These two hours, I want you to dedicate to this project. And we be able to cut them a check because that product, that project or that product that they're working on will be able to generate income because we are every time, every time we put our minds to something, we are creating, um, we are, we are creating a commodity that can be exchanged. And we really got to start looking at it like that family. We really got to start looking at it. Because a lot of us, we're giving our commodity, we're giving our time away to people that don't give a damn about us. And we know this. Like I said, this whole this whole reciprocity um, economic structure, this whole eugenomic structure can be used to help you free yourself. Free yourself. Enough where you could take, where you get some time. You know what I'm saying? Because this COVID lifestyle... I, shit, I'm loving this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not loving the fact that there's, there's people dying in this risk, but the, the 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 being able to stop and to, in a sense, take a breath. Never, never experienced that. 
that I could remember. You know, when I was sitting in my grandmother's lap or sitting in my mother's lap when I was a baby. Well, I was too young to really know what was going on and got those big cousins looking out for me. But as soon as I became conscious enough to be able to handle business, the pressure has been on every day. And for, what, a three-month period? Shit has, in a sense, been turned off. And I'm looking around, I'm being like, damn. And even though I realized it before, but I never realized it more than ever, more than now, because it's like we're in need when we don't really need to be in need because we're not creating commodities for us. We're creating commodities for others. And that commodity could be you teaching in the classroom. That commodity could be um, 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 you designing something at a job. That commodity could be you answering the phone with a pleasant voice and maintaining clients for somebody else. You know, let's learn how to let's learn how to benefit ourselves from our own personal skills. That's all I'm saying. But family, this is Brother Hatim. I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to bore you anymore. We're going to go on and we're going to transition out. That's much too slow. Okay. All right. That's cool. That worked. All right. So. um, Let you leave on these.